All right, tail of the tape on Josh Barnett against Dan McGee. Pancration against the wrestler, both 23 years old. Look at the difference, seven inches and nearly 40 pounds between McGee and Josh Barnett. Will it make a difference though, Jeff? Only time will tell. Official introductions forthcoming. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is a super heavyweight bout consisting of three five-minute rounds, beginning with the fighter standing to my left. He is a Pancration fighter with a mixed martial arts record of 23-0. Standing six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Fighting out of Seattle, Washington. Please welcome, in his Octagon debut, Josh Barnett. And his opponent, standing to my right, he is a wrestler with a mixed martial arts record of 7-0. Standing six feet, 10 inches tall, Weighing in at 296 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California. Please welcome Gan McGee. Now, Gan McGee, a big, big man. 6'10", nearly 300 pounds. Are you ready? Are you ready? Mike, you know, we've seen bigger. Yarborough came in here five, six hundred pounds and took on 220 pounder Keith Hackney and Hackney beat him. However, seems to me that Bennett, Barnett, excuse me, a little more mobile, a little more athletic than Yarborough. 616 pounds, Emmanuel Yarborough, the largest competitor ever to fight in the UFC. That was back at UFC 3, the American dream. 9994 in Charlotte, North Carolina. Long time ago, partner. You betcha. And how do you beat a striker? You smother him. You drive him up against the bench. You get inside where he can't hit you. And then you work to get your takedown. And that is exactly what Mr. Gan McGee is doing to Mr. Josh Barnett at the moment. There's the knee. I was wondering when the knees would start coming up from McGee. Background in kickboxing. Muay Thai. Go ahead. Now Barnett said his size is unusual. Speaking of his opponent, he's exactly right. He said you don't come across guys who are 6'10", 300 pounds very often. So that's going to be the biggest thing he's going to try to overcome here tonight. He's fought some big and thick dudes, but never anybody this tall. Body lock to a trip. Takes McGee down. And now Barnett, let's see what he can do. He already ate an elbow from McGee there while in the top position. Now McGee's a wrestler at heart, always has been, always will be. He's gotten a little bit better every time he goes to the gym. Hands have gotten better. He's somewhat a work in progress when you do the scouting report on Gan McGee. On. He's only 23 years old. Got to work through it. Come on. Both these guys young. Both 23 years old. Gan McGee and Josh Barnett. Almost looks as though he's going for an arm. There he's bringing the legs way up high. Good work. Trying to keep that big man off him. Three five minute rounds in every matchup here tonight, other than a preliminary matchup, which would be two five minute rounds, and our championship fight, which is five five minute rounds. On the card tonight, the heavyweights Kevin Randleman, Randy Couture. Oh, there's a good shot from the guard. I've seen a number of good shots from McGee from the bottom position. Good work, good work. Keep it going, guys. There's another one. Yeah, Barnett's doing a good job. Now McGee's trying to gain some more control. He's got the, he's he's got got the got full mount. Yep. Yes, he does, and he's going to be able to use that. Watch the back of the head. Knows he can't elbow to the head. John McCarthy is right there. Cannot Slam elbow to the back of the head, but he can get the front, and he did there and connected big time. Now he's trying Watch to overpower his opponent. <laughs> Barnett trying to move that 300 pound force of Gan McGee. Full mount position for McGee. Work your way out, work your way out, let's go. Two minutes remains in round number one. They are extremely attentive here in Atlantic City. Watch the back of the head, you got a last chance. Trying to connect with the left. There, he's got an opportunity to get a leg out. If he can get the leg out, he can at least get the half guard and have better control, and he doesn't. Weather the storm. McGee had an opportunity there. Barnett able to counter. 
600 pounder 300 pound man six foot ten you wonder if conditioning becomes a factor in this matchup against Josh Barnett who's not small by any means at 6 3 260 pounds almost keep working keep working keep working well, Barnett was able to hit McGee with some good shots there an elbow early when he first got taken down and then a couple of punches there as well Barnett now had an opportunity to push McGee away this whole time I keep thinking that Barnett it looks like he's trying to set McGee up and go for an arm bar. Now Barnett has the background to be able to use the submissions McGee is pounding away here almost a ground and pound technique now those punches are more like just blows coming down with the heel of his hand as opposed to the punching surface they're not thrown straight this is a raw talent right here on, Dan McGee. now one of the fighters he defeated raw talent. you got that right to win his IFC title Jeff was UFC veteran Tim Lechick and McGee was extremely dominant in that matchup doing much of the things that he is doing here in round number one tonight. Now, Lechick is even smaller than Barnett. Perhaps that size just too overwhelming for Lechick. Right there. Let's get it up. Got him back in the guard just momentarily, but Gan McGee had the full mount almost the entire first round. And he nearly had it there at the end. I'm, I'm impressed by McGee's ability to pass the guard. Okay, listen. That's going to help him. Relax and breathe. Yeah, you can. Want some water? Chuck Liddell helping McGee in the corner. Here's the takedown. A body lock. Uses his right leg to trip out Barnett. Put him down on the ground. And there you see Barnett going ahead and throwing punches while on the ground. There's that nice elbow trying to keep McGee off of him. And there those chopping punches. They're not thrown with a lot of style, but the impact of 300 pounds throwing a punch is going to wear you down. Me. There's no doubt about me. that. OK, no problem. you beat him. You want to win? You want to come back here? Damn right. Then kick his butt this round. You Done. understand? Yes. Turn around. Matt Hume, go, Josh, Josh go, Barnett. Ready? Let's see what he does here to start the you second. Ready? Let's go. You want to come back Let's here? You need come to on. have a victory, and they're going to try to do their best. Both of these Both fighters back. trying to establish themselves in this heavyweight division. I wondered if Barnett would throw some leg kicks. But I thought we might see him try to chop big old McGee down with those leg kicks. Now that's the way to bring him down. We have seen that happen to some of the great fighters in the history of the UFC. Big men chopped down, literally. Maurice Smith did it to Tank Abbott. That's just one of the many examples of seeing that opportunity. Uh, Marco Lewis did yeah. to Paul Varner. That was the big one. That wasn't was it? a big one. I mean, yeah. people went wild. It's really the first time that leg kicks were used in a real effective manner in the octagon. And we've seen a lot more kicking after that fight. Knees now by Barnett. Stop on the foot, and that'll work. Barnett has a different game. He's got a different set of skills, and he wants to just try to get it to, to the world in which he can try to utilize those skills. There's some couple of good jabs to the head of his opponent, Gan McGee. Josh Barnett, Gan McGee. There's a strike into the face. We're talking about his opponent McGee getting tired and Barnett's trying to take advantage of that fatigue here in the second round. Barnett's being very clever here. Showing a lot of versatility working from his backside. It does look as though McGee is fatiguing right oh, there. Big time. Right there you see him. He almost looked frustrated when he raised himself up. Now he's gone down trying to collect himself again. But we've seen McGee pass Barnett's guard. He almost did it at the end for the second time in that first round. Now right in front of his corner, Josh Barnett extremely active. Here two minutes in to round number two. That takedown was big for McGee. Who knows what happened if Barnett could have kept his feet here and yeah. be this tired. Yeah. Yeah, this one comes back up. Trouble could be a brewing for Big Gan McGee. I mean, Barnett has the guard this time. Big 
time. Yeah. Triangle. Get the triangle. He's really pulled down on the head and get that lock if he can pull his foot up to his knee. So that, that'll help him distract him so you can sink it deeper. He's got his eye cut. Those elbows connected big time. Big time. Boom! Down goes the big man. But he's got good wrestling sense. He was able to come off his backside quickly. Come, on, come on, Josh. Barnett's Josh, not on. able to keep Josh, him down. On. McGee there you go. surviving that threat. Come on. school wrestler did go one year to Iowa to wrestle was a red shirt there wrestled three years at Cal Poly but Barnett is taking over this action here they call him the baby faced assassin and he is the more experienced striker and he has shown us many many striking skills here in round number two I don't understand what Barnett just did he had McGee up against the fence he pushed into him and spun around and put himself up against the fence where now he can't get separation he can't move and worst of all the geek can grab his leg let him off the hook right i think it's a big sequence right here if he can survive against mcgee right here i think he's going to be in a good position to perhaps come back and here it is mcgee ran out of gas trying to he's take that out of gas that's yeah. right now he's frustrated too nothing worse than failing in an attempt and coming out in a real poor position and he has Josh Barnett, 23 and 0, very experienced in mixed martial arts competitions. He's beaten Bobby Gilstrap, Bobby Hoffman, Dan the Beast Sever. I mean, this is a man who has beaten some of the best in the world. He's trying to chop down the big tree. Gan McGee, who is undefeated in his MMA career. Oh, Boom! I can hear that. Now he's landing. Now he's landing. 35 seconds remains in round number two. Barnett trying to finish it right here. If he doesn't put up a good defense, McCarthy will probably stop this, so and there it is. Yep, it is over. Yeah. It is all over. Defense. Josh Barnett, dominant here in round number two. It was McGee in the first five minutes, and conditioning became a major factor in the second five-minute period. And you called it there, Goldie, and I knew that last shot by McGee on the leg was going to be the turning point. It was make or break. He didn't get it. He was going to really collapse all at once. McGee sensed the same thing. Once he got it down, got full mount, there was nothing McGee could do. His tank was on empty. He had nothing to offer in defense except covering up. And we know that is not style. That is desperation. And big job McCarthy came right in and stopped the fight. When the tank is empty, the tank is empty. And it was empty for that man, Gan McGee, up on his feet. A great show of class and sportsmanship, as always, here between our competitors in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. 23 year old Josh Barnett successful in his debut. And here looking at the closing moments in full mount, Barnett now straight punches. A little bit rounded there to clear the arms, but. Pretty good style there with those punches, efficient punches. And then now, once he turns his head to the side and exposes the side of his head, he starts bringing forearms and elbows. All McGee did was cover up. McCarthy stopped the fight. I mean, this is a man who was very serious about tonight's competition. Congratulations to Josh Barnett, who closes out the big man in round two. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the referee stoppage at 4 minutes 34 seconds of the second round for the winner, the baby-faced assassin, Josh Ball.